there seems to always be one in the request batch every single time. A Sonic character. This time it's Blaze the Cat from... What was her first game? It wasn't Sonic 06. It was, uh, wasn't it like Sonic Rivals or something like that? Yeah, I think it was like Sonic Rivals. It's one of those, uh, running games. And then she made a bigger appearance in Sonic 06 and... Yeah, it's Blaze! Let's go. This Blaze has custom sprites from, uh, Sonic Battle. You'll see some shadow sprites in there, you'll see a lot of things. In fact, her tail is a little cut off. Um, she plays like an MVC character, but the problem is she's so tiny, she can barely air combo. And then, of course, for some reason, with Sonic characters like this, they're either supposed to be made for a specific type of Mugen, or they just... People think Sonic characters are so supposed to be so powerful that they become a little too overpowered. But, if you notice, just kicking Garlic Jr. Garlic Jr. in the shins here. He, he, he's not doing anything important. It's not that she's overpowered, her supers are a little overpowered. But, yeah. This is Blaze. Is that all you've got? He's smoking because I, I sent them on fire. I, he's smoking over the Look at that. Live and let die. I was thinking about changing the, changing the song for this stage, but it's kind of fitting it a little more and more. And I see. I know I. You're gonna be see, hearing if we run into a certain other character. I did update the Mugen a bit. Uh, Kung Fu Man is now officially a boss character in my Mugen. And uh, what's another super for Blaze? There we go. Yeah, there we go. And I think she has a level 3. Yeah, Kung Fu Man's been updated as a boss, and I changed a song on one stage. You may or may not see it during this playthrough. It might be another playthrough. Because I remember there's a certain game out there that's very mediocre at best, but the soundtrack is amazing. I start all fires and end them. I'm like Smokey the Bear. Snorlax. My flame can penetrate anything. My flame can penetrate anything. Alright, Snorlax. Why? 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 Why would you... Can't... Can't... Can't combo after up there, though. You can't combo up there after... Oh, I got at least a two-hit rush. Ugh. Yeah, there we go. That's a Shadow Sprite, by the way. From a Sonic Battle. For the Game Boy Advance. Why can't I do the move again? There we go. That's another Shadow Sprite. In fact, a lot of these are just custom Shadow Sprites. Maybe I take back what I said about her being a little overpowered. She just seems a little too loosey loosey. Leave it to me! Huh, I just gained meter by doing a super. Level 3! Oh, it's Super Blaze! Let me guess, they, the fans actually call her like Burning Blaze or something like that, right? Just like, for some reason, Super Shadow was called Hyper Shadow for the longest time when it was just Super Shadow. Maybe it is Burning Blaze. Like I said, I, I never played Sonic Rush. Or Rivals. One of those two games that she's in. Just gonna punch him and kick him in the toe. But, um, this is Blaze. Get used to seeing this for the next maybe six more minutes. Because, you know, it's an NPC character. Oh, yeah, that's her double jump. <laughs> She does a Tatsumaki that does no damage. Okay, he blocked, but that did a lot of chip damage. Holy smokes. Block it again! You, oh. No. And you, Wow, that does do a lot of chip damage. My goodness. Oh, come on. Yeah! I've always liked that, um... 
Maybe because I have fond memories of Super Mario Bros. Z. That, uh, that Sonic, like, down kick that he does. That I just did, like, play Civic. Oh, we're just beating up the Pokemon. We're actually just doing a Pokemon battle. I haven't recalled Blaze back because she's still good to go. I just took off a quarter of his health with a super. Wait. Oh! I Pikachu's small enough for me to combo! <laughs> I just thrashed Pikachu. <laughs> yes! And his little thing goes over my winds. Why? Why? Why does it go over the text, Pikachu? Leave it to me! Oh, well. Ah, oh, so cool. <laughs> I think Pikachu has a small amount of health anyway. Like, he's kind of like a glass cannon. Just, just, just die, Pikachu. There we go. Nice, quick, easy match. Right? My skills are superior! Cool, who's next? Leela! Yeah! It's Kung Fu Man intro. I think Leela is technically a sprite swap of Kung Fu Man. And she kicked Richard Nixon away. That's right, I, uh, as I mentioned too, I've updated my Mugen too, just to have some more jobbers in here too, to... Give us a little more variety instead of just constantly running into Inuyasha and, uh, what's their face? Rika and whatnot. Just, just a little more variety. I mean, we've seen Marge recently. Her clothes got torn off for unbeknownst reason. Suck it, Leela. Oh, he's doing the freedom dance. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Oi. Just gonna burn her shins. Is that all you Blaze is just standing on top of Leela, looking directly into that ass. <laughs> Live and let die. All right, Leela, I'm gonna beat you. I would say face in, but your face halfway taken up by your whole eye. By the way, if you want to see some fun Leela intros, just go watch my more Mugen special intros. She has intros against Bender, Kang from Kane and Kodos, and with Marge Simpson. Some fun intros. Farnsworth. Stop blocking, by the way. There's nothing I can do about that. Changing the Mugen to stop blocking or to block less without them doing anything. Oh, she's dead. Good, her clothes don't rip like Marge's do for some unknown reason. Is that all you've got? You'll never be a match for me. I have a jewel in my forehead. Sandbag! Oh, right before we get to the sub-boss. Uh, maybe I should update the sandbag stage. As much as I like this Chrono Trigger stage... Maybe, maybe I should update it to, like, something to smash variety and have, like, a sm Ooh, that sounds... Maybe I'll do, like, a Final Destination stage. Just, uh... But then again, just for Sandbag, who has a crap ton of health. But, like I said, the reason I have Sandbag in here is just to, every now and then, if he pops up, just to give me some breathing room. Also, I originally wanted to program my Mugen just to have Sandbag the first fight every time just to get a feel for the character and then move on, but then I was like, that's kind of lame. That's her uh, level 1 that we kind of get to see, but don't get to see. But you want her level 3, don't you? She has no way of charging, does she? Okay. Okay, here we go, level 3. Her full level three. Just took off more than half a bar <laughs> yes. of health. <laughs> Again, that is Sandbag for you. Sandbag is one of the greatest characters for Mugen. Ah, Bibi Hood, sub boss. Let's get 
This battle is about Let's go, BB Hood! Ow, what the hell? You want, you want to do projectile war? I got a projectile you can have. It's funny, watch as I say, Kung Fu Man's been updated to a boss. Watch him be the boss for this run. <laughs> watch, but... Unlike with Athena, Blaze is tiny and a little more cheap than Athena. Athena's a very... Kind of very balanced character. Okay, uh, there's nothing else I can say about this character. Just gonna keep hitting people in the shins with her. As with all Sonic Battle uh, custom sprite characters, they are always tiny. That's why I have that uh, Capcom vs. the World Sonic. Except for the Amy Rose I have, which I should change her theme song too. <laughs> I really should. I'm just realizing, like, I want to keep updating my Mugen. That's all. Just to make it a little more fun, because I notice there's sometimes we run into the same character on the same stage, like we just did with Pikachu there, for the Pokemon stage. But, uh, I have all my Pokemon characters on the same stage on that Pokemon stage. And I want to change the stages for just one character. And how I have all my Dark Stalker characters on this stage with Morgan's theme playing from, uh, I believe it's, uh, Marvel's Capcom 2, I want to say, or maybe it's Tatsunoko. It's one of the verse series. It's, it's not Marvel 3 because Marvel 3, as much as I love that soundtrack, has like this guitar riff for every game, like this strange, let's remix it, but like give it like this wacky feel to it, like great example of Zero's theme just and like Captain America's theme like, you know, the classic but for Marvel 3 it's <laughs> not complaining, it's hype as hell but it only fits for that game will you just die Stop it! You will not become a boss character. You do not deserve to be a boss character. You are too easy. I'm just constantly fighting a character that just keeps blocking and keeps throwing out her stupid submachine gun. And her dog disappeared and died. That poor, poor puppy. Right? Who's the final boss? Donatello! See, it's just like this stage. I have all uh, the turtles on this stage, but yet Shredder I have inside the Technodrome and Krang outside the Technodrome. Bebop and Rocksteady have their own stage. But, I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave most of it. If you have any suggestions on what would you like to see to for me to upgrade my Mugen better, just uh, let me know. I read every comment. But, um, as I mentioned, when it comes to, uh, request, I need the, uh, character and the author of the character, and, or, I should say, or you can just leave me a download link, or a link leading to the character on the person's personal website. But if you just say a character name with no author, I'm I'm not even I'm not even gonna bother with you anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some of you just come in who aren't even subscribed. You're like um, giving an example. Do Blaze the Cat, and I'll be like, need author of the character. You never respond back, and I'm like, okay, I'm not doing Blaze the Cat now. Just just an example. But uh, I believe from the first character we did, skipping annoying orange and Athena, all these other characters were sent to me on Twitter. Which you could always do that too, just message me on Twitter, or as what everybody was doing, reply to a Mugen <laughs> upload on Twitter, and be like, can you do this for the next batch? And if I give you a thumbs up, that means okay, I got you. But I have no idea when the batches come out. I always uh, try to record them. Like, this is being recorded in March, these characters. 
And I believe they're going to be uploaded sometime in April. Maybe, maybe even starting in April. Well, yeah, we technically we did start in April with uh, <laughs> the Barney one I did for April Fool's Day. Which, if uh, you saw, only the uh, the thumbnail. If you go back right now, the thumbnail and description has changed on my April Fool's Barney playthrough. That's why some of you might be like, why are you doing a Katsuki or a Katsuki twice? But in reality, I didn't. Oh, Donnie. I love it. You, you, I'm, I'm telling you to stop blocking. You, you Instead, you push block me, then you start comboing me, which is great. And, oh, God. There we go. I was like, can I get an air combo for once besides against Pikachu? Okay. Yes. I think she also uses, like, some other Marvel vs. Capcom, like, template, hence why she was moving so quickly. Anyway, that was Blaze the Cat. To the person that requested Blaze the Cat, I hope you enjoyed. Next time on the Mugen Arcade Request, it's not this giant chicken, it's this giant chicken. <laughs> this one's in my roster. This one was requested. My name is Clint Karanta. Thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for technically Ernie the Giant Chicken on the Mugen Arcade mode playthroughs.